What is up, YouTube Loop Troop and fellow new Pokemon Pocketeers? Or I guess the game's been out for almost about a week now. Well, I guess on Tuesday it'll be a week. So you're not necessarily new right now. A lot of you guys may be a little seasoned now. So um, I made all the videos for how to beat the EX Pokemon Expert Battles in the solo battles. Uh, they were pretty tough. And this challenge is probably going to be even tougher. So hopefully I can help you guys out. A lot of people have asked for this in the comments of those videos. So basically in every single one of these little uh, challenges, they have a special challenge um, <laughs> that is designed to just make you go crazy. You have to beat these decks with a deck that is basically weak to it. So obviously Starman EX is a water deck. This is probably the hardest, one of the hardest decks to beat in the solo battles. And you have to beat this with the deck that it's gonna be even better than because it's gonna be dealing an extra 20 damage every single time it attacks your Pokemon. You can only use fire type Pokemon in the deck that you're gonna be beating it with to get this challenge. You'll notice that mine says zero out of one. I technically beat this, but I wanted to show you guys me beating it first. That sounds weird, you know what I mean? Um, but this is um, gonna be probably kind of hard. It's really gonna take a whole lot of luck and you're gonna have to have some good cards. So unfortunately, I don't have a budget deck for this uh, right off the top. I could probably make one with it and get really lucky and beat it. But for the most for the most case, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a Charizard EX deck. I think that these decks are actually good examples of what you should beat the decks with that you're going against with. As you noticed, that I actually lost a lot to this when I was still using an, an, an electric deck because this deck can just ramp up extremely fast. When Misty comes out, when they go first and they can still technically get energy and it's almost like you don't even have an advantage anymore, right? And they can still attack you on turn one. They can they get an extra energy first before you do on turn two and it's game over, right? So you have to get lucky. This has nothing to do with skill most of the time. It really just goes down to did they get a Misty hit or did they not? And do they have Starmie EX or do they not? So you really have to, you, you have to basically just get lucky. So let's go over the deck that we got and then we'll be right back. All right, guys. So what we got here is High Roll Lizard. Probably looks real familiar to what you've seen before. We got two Charmander, two Charmeleon, Moltres EX, another Moltres EX, and we got two of the Charizard EXs as well to go wrong with those lines. You don't need to keep this any 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 less than this. This is all you need, really. You're banking on getting a Moltres EX early um, so that you can go into buffing up these other Pokemon. You really wanna go second because you wanna get that energy first and you don't even have to worry about putting cards on the back line anyway because Moltres EX can't evolve into anything. Um, so you're going to be getting hit very much with Moltres EX, but what you want to do is you want to get at least about six energy on Charizard and get the full line out that way that when Charizard comes out, it can hit once wipes out any Pokemon they put out. It can hit again, wipes out any Pokemon that comes out. And since it's hit two times, it has another two energy. And that way you can wipe out the last Pokemon. But in this case, we might not have to do that because if we hit their Starmie EX with one hit of Charizard's, um, was it a um, Crimson Storm? It deals 200 damage um, and it's gonna deal two, po two prize points for us. So they can't survive it and it's gonna give us two points. So that's going to allow us to one shot one more Pokemon and we'll be done. So the Charizard EX is kind of one of the easier ones. So that's why we're doing it first. We just got to get lucky on some of our rolls and hope that they don't get lucky with theirs. Um, another cool tip about this deck and why I think it's going to be good to beat it with is because Moltres EX is a flying type Pokemon, but it's also, it, well, it's, it's weak to lightning, but it's, you would think that it'd be weak to water, but it's not. Uh, the legendary birds are all weak to lightning because they're technically flying type, but it is considered a fire type. So I know that's kind of confusing, but it works out. Trust me. So let's go ahead and get into the game and let's see if we can make this work. Oh, let me go over my uh, trainer stuff. Two potions, two X speeds, Pokeballs, Professor Research, Giovanni, Sabrina, you know, the works. Typical stuff, right? That's really about it. All right, let's go ahead and get into the battle now. All right. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so we, we do get to go second, so that's good for us. Um, don't Oh, we did get Moltres as well. Don't forget that this could easily be um, a Staryu, and they can already have Misty in hand, and they can just go right into it. 
It was like his trophy, so it's not too bad. Uh, but they probably have Professor Research and Pokeballs, so let's just see if we can get a little, a little good. Um, oh, they didn't, they didn't have Misty or anything. Okay, we have XP now too. We don't have any other things we want though, but we can start putting points onto Moltres. It's not ideal, but it's what we got. Um, I have no reason to do Inferno Dance because I can't put points onto Moltres. So, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to end my turn and we'll call it. We're not going to use a supporter. We're not going to use anything really. Just put the energy on. So he's going to put it on, on, on that. Can I get Charmander? Can I, Professor, can I get my fire starter, please? It'd be great if you could give me that. I would, I would appreciate it. Okay. Can we, can we get Charmander, please? Thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you. Thank you. And that's another reason why we didn't put any extra Pokemon in here. No reason to. All right, we're going to put a point on Charmander. I think we already have a Charmeleon and a Charizard. So that's already like really good. So let's go ahead and use Inferno Dance. And let's hope and pray for good RNJ. Let's... Hey, let's go ahead and get all the bad flips out of the way, right? Um, let's go ahead and get, okay. So he finally gets Misty. Of course he gets heads. Great. All right. So things are going fantastic. Does he have XP? He does. Wow. This is awesome. Uh, you love to see it. So this is how the game turns our good luck into, we don't care how lucky you are. So now our Moltres is one hit away from being killed because of this thing. So what we're really hoping right now is for a good flip on Moltres. And then we'll go into actually being able to kill things with Charizard in one hit. We'll kill this. And he has he, he might not have another Misty to go into other things, but we really only got to kill this and one of the things. So just let us get if we get two hits right now, we'll kind of be OK, but it's still going to be a little tough. But let's see what happens. I have nothing I want to use. Great, 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 great. Let's do Inferno Dance. Just making sure. I also always keep that up so that it tells me if I'm missing out on something. Can I please have a good... I would love to get some good rolls. Okay, well, that's better than last one. Well, at least next turn we can kill Articuno. But he's got another one too, so this is going to be kind of tough. I'm not going to lie. Still gonna be tough, but I think we can still beat it. I don't think they're gonna be able to kill our um our boy that easily. He'll he'll hit it, but it's not gonna be that big of a deal. I'm also not going to put any other Pokemon out because there's no reason to. Right? You need to think about this when you're playing this game. By the way, guys, if if he has Sabrina, he can kill me if I put another Pokemon out. So don't put another Pokemon out. That'd be a very bad idea. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down on Charizard. We're not gonna be able to attack uh, for two turns after this, so hopefully we can survive. Hopefully. We'll do Crimson Storm. We know support can be used. If if next turn they don't get Frogadier and they don't put another Pokemon out, and also we get a Sabrina. So a lot, a lot of also's, we can win. Will we win? I don't know. We might be redoing this one. We might be redoing this one. Crap. Um, uh, okay. So, so now I think we lose. Or maybe we don't. I have two X speeds. We might be able to salvage this. Two X speeds on Charizard. I'm going to I'm going to retreat, bring in Moltres, put this energy on Moltres that I would like to actually have put onto Charizard. He can't kill me in one hit. I am going to then hopefully he still doesn't have Sabrina because that would really suck. We're going to try to do Inferno Dance and hope that we can finally get two good hits. If we get some good Moltres hits right now, things will change for us. Okay, that's one. That's two. Okay, 
That was all we needed. He can't kill us. We got enough energy on Charizard now. We made a fantastic pivot. It should be over now, unless he has Sabrina. If he has Sabrina, he's going to kill murder us. Please don't have Sabrina. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We made the perfect decision right there on that trade. Now all we gotta do is put this energy on Moltres. We can retreat. We can retreat. Bring in the lizard. We got some pretty mid rolls, I'm not gonna lie, but somehow we still managed to pull it off. All right. We should get an extra point for getting four points on this thing. I'm just saying. Like, and they should add another one on here too. Like, that, that, that's not realistic. We got, we killed them two EXs. That's crazy. All right. So, we managed to beat it on our first try, might I add, with Charizard EX deck. I think that you just really got to fight fire with fire when it comes to these decks. You're going to have to use the best decks versus them. If you don't have them, it's going to be tough. But this is this is the deck that I would recommend you use for it. Um, I still can't believe I got this, this golden Charizard. That's crazy. This is when I was free to play too. But yeah, I uh, hope this helped you guys out a little bit. If you're having trouble with this deck, um, it is very tough. Very hard to beat. They, if you, you will notice that we got very lucky. They did not have a single Starmie get pulled out. Um, so if they would have pulled Starmie out, it would have been a lot tougher for us to win because that thing can hit fast and it can hit hard. You know what I mean? But as far as this goes, this was pretty easy. Hope you guys have some good luck too. If you have questions about anything with the deck, please leave a comment in the chat because we'll be helping you out. Um, I respond to all my comments. You know, also please subscribe. We're posting content daily. Probably it might, it might might shorten up a little bit because we're on a we're on a four day marathon over on Twitch.tv right now. Just come check us out if you're not watching. Uh, this video might not go out until after the stream. Now I think about it now. Never mind, scratch that. Either way, still come to the stream. We'll be live. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you later. Peace.